Nine minutes into the game, Charlie Ficus taps through Shevanagan. Arno moving for position on the inside. He's got Ayarusha to beat. He draws the crowd, puts it to Ingo Peter, a shot and a score! Arno Stefanhagen, a beautiful through ball to Ingo Peter, coming right up the slot in the sting. Now leads it by a score of one to nothing. Ingo's fourth goal of the year. What a work, Vinitsa. And Carl out to Ingo Peter. Peter in the center circle, chips it forward to Charlie Ficus. Indiana University, the Wheaton Wonder now, worked on by Durgan. Ficus fakes it. Now he moves to Marheadic. Oh, kicked away by Durgan, but Davey Hussein is there. Davey back into the box. Back to Marheadic. Back to Davey Hussein. Coming in, shot to score. Davey Hussein in a beautiful give and go with Bottom Marheadic. He scores his second goal of the year, and now Roy the Sting leads it 2 to nothing. And that goal at 25 07 in the first half really gave the Chicago Sting impetus. It gave the crowd something to cheer about, but it was only the beginning of a very exciting afternoon. And now Romero. Romero chips in the box, Cabanis up in the air, ball is loose, Canalia drives it into the net, Giorgio Canalia, his 22nd goal of the year, as Dieter Ferner, the Sting goalkeeper, missed connections, coming off the line, and a wide open net for Giorgio, that made it 2-1. to one. And that again, tries to push off, get position, can't do it, and now the Cosmos coming, there's Canalia, Giorgio Canalia on the run, Glenn trying to catch up from behind, Canalia takes it to the far side of the box, centering pass, Matthew slips, Romero is there! Oh, the Cosmos have tied it! The Cosmos have tied it at two! Earlier, Ingo Peter chips it forward, ball is headed up in the air. Ficus fighting for it. Charlie wins it, Charlie coming, keepers out, he shot! Score! As Charlie fired the ball below Hubert Birkenmeyer, a New York defender came across the line. Roy, he tried to clear it out and he just ended up putting it in the net. To your right, trailing by a goal. Rukovic again with the interception. Ivan coming. Gronitz is breaking. He taps it up to Stevenhagen. Arno in the restraining circle. Shot. Score! Arno Stevenhagen caught Berkemeyer totally flat-footed, Roy. Nobody thought Arno would shoot, and shoot he did. And what a great steal by Ivan Mielkovic. Now Vanderelst. Taps it to Romero. Romero looks for Canalia. Gets him. Giorgio shoots. He scores! Giorgio Canalia. This time a beautiful goal. Catching the short side. Taking the passes from Vanderos and Romero. That would uh, make it Chicago 4, New York 3. And Giorgio only had a few feet, Roy. And he took advantage of everyone. Earlier this year in New York, the Sting beat the Cosmos by a score of 3-2 to two in overtime. Carl Gonitsa getting two free kick goals. There's a bullet. Ingo Peter has just given the Sting a lead. What a rocket. Ingo Peter taking a pass from Mark Symington. Hit a really red rocket up into the corner of the net. And Mark, as we head toward uh, that moment when the whistle will blow and everybody can go home happy, here's Bullion a shot. Oh, no, he tied it up with 42 seconds left in the game. And perhaps a bit of lethargy out on the field. The Cosmos Canalia tapped it with his head to Bullion. And Bullion tied it up in an incredible miracle finish. Is it one? And we'll have put the Cosmos away. Granitza. Oh, another fine save by Berkemeyer. Cut. Top of the circle. Picks up a crowd. Goes to Brett. Oh, Hall fires. Oh, tipped over the bar. Brett. Chico Borja. Hernan Chico Borja. An exciting youngster from Ecuador. The next shooter for the Cosmos. Up he comes, Ferner's off the line, and he knocks the ball down. Dieter Ferner that time didn't come up quite so far, Roy, and he was able to bat that ball away. That makes it 2-1 to one at the end of four, and look who's up to take the Cosmos' fifth shot. Giorgio Canaglia, the greatest scorer in the world, coming in, a shot, saved by Ferner, it's over! It's over, Ferner is stopped! Giorgio Canaglia, the Sting wins it by a score of 6-5. to five. What a finish, Roy! There were 30,501 fans in Chicago's Wrigley Field. It was a Sunday afternoon. It was June the 28th of 1981. They saw everything that could possibly happen in a North American Soccer League game. They saw great defense. They saw great offense. They saw overtime. They saw a shootout. Everything that anybody could ever want in soccer was enjoyed by these fans. And the happy Chicago Sting leaves the field.